To the news tonight on Delmarva Sports Insider, a 23-year-old Delaware woman is facing close to 50 charges and is accused of crashing into at least two cars in Ocean City while she was three times over the legal limit. 47 ABC's Brooke Butler has more on the story and how it's affected some of our area's residents and our visitors. That's crazy. It's so scary. Oh my God. 23-year-old Paige Tomzak faces 48 charges after police say she crashed into multiple cars here on Coastal Highway in Ocean City while driving drunk Tuesday night. It's frightening. According to court documents, Tomzak first hit a car here at 75th Street just after 6 p.m. During day, daytime, daylight, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Buddy Martin, who lives here, says he heard the sound of the impact. We hear accidents quite often, actually, and it just sounded like an accident. And um, we came outside and there was really like nothing here. But he says all that remained was debris from the crash. That's because Tom Zach allegedly fled the scene and drove up here to 81st Street. And that's where police say she crossed this intersection and hit another car almost head on. They think they're invincible and they can do anything and nobody's going to get hurt. They don't think about the consequences. Police say Tom Sack eventually pulled into a public parking lot on 85th Street and tried to run away on foot. When witnesses tried to stop her, Tom Sack allegedly scratched one of them and pulled their hair. Never heard of anything like that in this area. When police arrived on scene, they say Tom Sack kicked an officer on his right leg several times. She's going to have a hard time getting out of that. If found guilty, Tom Zach faces some serious fines and jail time. People we spoke to say this all could have been avoided if she had just gotten a ride home. It's only a couple dollars to jump on the bus. Amen to that. According to court documents, Tom Zach seriously injured one person on Tuesday night. No update there. Police say they found marijuana, Adderall, and three open cans of beer, along with a knife, all in her car. Tom Zach has been released on bond. She's due to appear in court on November 22nd. A new catch limit in Maryland may put a snag in the line for fishermen trying to reel in large coastal sharks. The Maryland Department of Natural Resources says starting Monday, fishermen can only catch up to 45 large sharks per vessel trip. The agency says the change reflects species management protocols. Species included in this change, there's a lot of them. They include silky sharks, tiger sharks, black tip sharks, spinner bull sharks, lemon sharks, nurse sharks, scalloped hammerhead sharks, great hammerhead sharks, and smooth hammerhead sharks. It's a lot of sharks. Like I said, DNR says the National Marine Fisheries Service expects in-season changes to the trip limits based on the harvest. Well, the forecast as we head into the weekends, not looking too bad. Just a mix of sun and clouds. We'll get to that coming up, but here's a live look outside our Delaware Electric Co-op Skycam. All is quiet here on our SkyCam network. And as we head through uh, the next several hours, temperatures will be dropping through the 60s. We're already in the 60s out there, 67 in Salisbury and in Cambridge. Uh, temperatures right around 66 in Cambridge and Ocean City. Now, compared to last night, we're about 15 to 20 degrees cooler, so much, much cooler behind that cold front. Dew points in the low to mid 60s, and that's where they're going to stay. As we head into your Saturday, they're actually going to drop, believe it or not, hovering near 60. That will make it feel comfortable. A pleasant Saturday. You can see all the rain heading south of the area tonight. We're looking at just maybe a leftover shower as we head through the overnight hours. A mostly cloudy sky mid 60s as we head into your day tomorrow. Partly sunny temperatures near 80. Maybe a stray shower, but again, most of us should be staying dry. Here's a look at those temperatures across the entire area. A little bit cooler along the Atlantic because that wind is coming in off the ocean. Upper 70s, 80 in Salisbury. A little bit warmer towards the midshore as, of course, the midshore is farther from the Atlantic. So 82, maybe even 83 in Cambridge for Saturday. That cold front continues to slide south, takes the rain, takes most of the clouds with it. We might wake up early Saturday especially south of Salisbury with some extra clouds. But by the afternoon, we'll start to see more in the way of a little bit of sunshine. Dover, if you live in Dover, maybe even Easton, you'll probably see sunshine through most of the day. And then as we head into your Sunday, a similar forecast. But again, that northeast wind could pop up just a few light showers with some extra clouds at times. Monday looks to be the day with even more cloud cover because that wind will be more directly off the ocean, adding some extra moisture in the form of clouds, maybe even some showers. So by Monday, that's our best bet to see some leftover showers. 78, so a little bit cooler 
as we head into Monday. Notice the low temperatures the next several days in the 60s, feeling refreshing, and then we do begin to bump up those temperatures as we head towards the middle of the week. 83 on Tuesday, an isolated shower, 86 Wednesday, so almost feeling hotter by then. Maybe again some pop up showers by Thursday and Friday. That's when summertime heat comes back mid to upper 80s, even close to 90 as we head into your Friday overnight lows returning into the 70s. Ryan. All right, Daniel, thank you very much. That does it for news here on DSI. But when we return, we complete the countdown. Numbers two and one on our top 10 list in the Bayside Conference. Don't go away. We'll be right back. This is Damian Ferragamo, head football coach at Ken Island High School, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.